next? Like Vikings, Danny, this is better. Vikings, I thought the lead actor was kind of overacting. The lead actor in this is fantastic. Thank That's you. good reviews. Last Kingdom's, I think, the best show on television. What? The great Carlini? Well, this is kind of quiet. I might even be able to play chess. No. Yeah, it's possible. Really?
Game. Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below and let's go over this game to see what we can learn from it. Okay, um, this was the game of the monster rook and what allowed the rook to get so monstrous was in this position, white played a rook a1 to defend the pawn but um, it allowed the rook to kind of get solidified by this other rook, control this file and just absolutely run rough shot here around white's camp so if you want to go move back here pause the video what would have been the best move for black here i mean i'm sorry for white all right have to take control contest control of the file even if it means losing the pawn so here rook b1 rook takes rook over rook over swing in the other rook and um bring the rook down in the event the trade to get these connected um, passers here so um, black is better, black is up a pawn, but at least this is um, survivable. So, you know, activity in the end game, especially with their rooks, if you have to uh, let go of a pawn, I think um, activity, rook activity is kind of more valuable, as we saw in this position. So, that's one thing we can learn. Also, let's go in this position, and in the game, we had white play rook a3, and then black played rook takes g2 which of course works too but if you want to go move back pause the video kind of find a find a gangster move for black here not just the move but kind of the continuation in the line okay so it starts off with bishop f5 and ooh, man look at this king here look at this king he is just boxed in and just waiting for a checkmate. And black can deliver mate with rook over, so white must defend the mate threat. And now you're going to bring this rook up, and you will see how deadly this, this rook move is. G4 to uh, kind of threaten the bishop, bishop back, h4, trying to trap the bishop with one more pawn move, but black is going to be like, I don't care. What? h5, and then rook e2 and if you're thinking he just hung it no because watch the continuation h takes rook takes and look how powerful this is king cannot go back to defend this rook so bye bye Oof, that's kind of but now that you know the trick let's go back here so um rook e2 and instead of h takes what happens if you simply move the bishop back then you will see why this rook came up here. Swing the rook over, check. Oof, this is all cut off here. So that rook's gonna go, takes, and let's go move back here. Notice that white doesn't have any moves here whatsoever. I mean, what is white gonna do? Every All his pieces are paralyzed, and pretty much the only thing you can do is just pawn takes pawn, and here comes the rook out of danger, I mean the bishop out of danger, and now this is simply going to be a mate. Boom. All starting off with that sweet, sweet bishop move right here. So, very nice precise move. Obviously easy to see as an outsider and after the game rather than the one playing. You know, this works too, but if you want to be gangster and more precise, I think that's kind of a, a nice kind of pattern for all of us to remember. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And if you've been enjoying the channel, um, can become a Patreon member. There's a link in the video description below. Check it out. You get a lot of cool stuff, and it really, really helps support the channel and um, cover all the costs associated with going out and filming and editing. So, um, yeah, check it out if you have a chance. And thanks, guys. I'll see you guys later.